Hey, my name is Jason. I'm a registered sleep technician at RPSGT. I'm going to show you how to change your pressure uh, on the Remstar Auto uh, System 1 machine by Respironics. Uh, first things first, I, I don't recommend just changing the pressure just whenever for whatever reason. If you wake up in the morning with your CPAP or APAP and you feel great, don't change it because why would you change a good thing? Um, however, sometimes uh, the labs don't get the pressures right. You didn't have a REM on your back or you didn't sleep on your back you know, when you were titrated, so pressure isn't really perfect. There's you know, a host of other reasons why that could happen. Uh, sometimes people's doctors aren't helpful. The DME where you picked up your CPAP machine isn't helpful. Um, maybe there's a lot of people that aren't helpful. <laughs> so you need to at some point take matters into your own hands and you may need to change the pressure. So that's what I'll show you how to do. Uh, just just uh, if you can, try to get a copy of your sleep report to help you out. Also, it's a nice thing to have a uh, machine that's data capable whatever it is. Uh, that way you can get the program, you can actually get detailed results for each night, uh, see what's going on. Those things aren't accurate, they're not 100% accurate at all, uh, but it gives you a little something to go by, uh, places to start, and stuff, stuff like that. So anyway, let's go. All right, so hopefully you can see this okay. Um, so to set it up, you wanna rotate this dial until you get to set up, and then you're gonna push down on both of these. What's nice about this machine, other ones you had to plug in the power. This one you can lift the power on. Anyway, just, uh, whoops, push and hold. While it's on setup, you're going to hear a little beep. And then, mwahaha, we're in. All right. So hit setup. And this, this, it's really just pushing down on this and rotating. It's how you do everything. So in here, um, it's a nice little thing. You can ha change it into auto, um, auto PAP mode or straight CPAP. So when you're getting your machine, if you can, um, there's a code for it. And you know this video would be far too helpful if I knew it. So of course I don't know it off the top of my head, but you can search it. There's a code out there where it's like the base model of CPAP and you can get one that has data capable and it's an auto CPAP. But what they're gonna do is set it in CPAP mode well, now you can go in and push that and change it to auto pap, and you can have it uh, be variable pressure. Not by pap variable pressure, but it can adjust to your breathing as needed. So you can set your auto max. So this is the maximum amount of pressure that you need. So if you require 20 centimeters of water pressure at some point, like when you're in REM on your back, then of course you're going to need it. Otherwise, having it set that high is how you say in the business, crazy stupid. Um, what will happen, say 10 is the maximum pressure you need like while you're in REM and on your back. Like that's your worst case scenario and 10 takes care of it. If you have it set at 20 and you have a mouth leak, uh, the machines are pretty stupid. And so it's just going to keep detecting that mouth leak as like an apnea or a hypopnea or something. And it's going to increase the pressure, which is going to make the mouth leak worse, is which is going to just perpetually make it worse for you until you wake up and you're ticked off that uh, it's not working. So you want to push down to highlight it and then rotate it and you can set it, um, you know, let's pretend 10 was the pressure where everything looked great. You might want to go up and try 11 because what that'll do is just if for some reason uh, you require more pressure later down the road, it'll adjust for it. Plus, why not? You can set it wherever you want, though. You have your big boy, you have your big boy pants on. And you push down to get out of it and then you want to rotate it down. You're going to push in there. So the minimum, um, you know, you don't want to go as low as it goes unless you absolutely require that. Um, but you want to find a pressure that's, uh, once you fall asleep, it's going to at least cover you, or you're, you're just going to take care of your apneas and hypopneas, at least while you're on your side and in non-REM. Um, if it's like such a huge difference, like actually 4 to 11 is pretty big difference, you might want to try to snug it up a bit to whatever is comfortable. Um, but there's no reason being on a ton of pressure right at the start or through the entire night when it's not necessary. So there's a little more play with the minimum, but just try to get it as close as you can for you know as comfortable as it is, if that makes any sense. Um, so flex type, you can have A-flex, uh, none, or C-flex. A-flex, the difference is C-flex is just when you exhale, it kind of controls the pressure delivery, makes it smoother just on the exhalation. Well, A-flex does it on the inhalation and the exhalation or you can turn it off entirely. So A-flex, this is the amount, since it's set for A-flex, the amount, three is the most, one's the least. 
I don't know, whatever's comfortable, just a comfort setting. So this is a system one, it's called the uh, blah, blah, resistance, system one resistance. So this is if you have a different type of mask. This, they have different settings, so times one, or I'm sorry, X1, X2, X3, X4, all the way up to X5. Um, I don't know what these are, like as far as what masks are for, but it's supposed to optimize the mask in the machine so that it knows, based on the leak values of the mask, it knows how to compensate the pressure more opt, I'm sorry, knows how to optimize the leak rate with the machine and the pressure that's delivered to you. So it all works in conjunction. You may have to contact the company to find out like whatever mask, like for example, if you're on like a Quattro FX or something, one of these is gonna work better than the others. So just be aware that that is a setting and you might wanna to try to look that up. Lock system, this is your machine, so why would you wanna lock it? That's crazy. Ramp time, you can set all the ramps. So uh, if you're using a auto CPAP, uh, you probably, or auto PAP, you probably don't wanna set a ramp, but if you're using it as straight CPAP, then you probably, you may wanna set a ramp. So that's just when you hit this, you turn it on and you hit this button, it'll drop you down to um, some pressure. Um, and then over this length of time, like say 20 minutes, it's going to creep you up. So you'll start the, see, hold on, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the worst video ever. So the ramp start is going to start you off right now at four centimeters of water pressure, or you can go like, five, say five. Start you off at five. Over 20 minutes, it's going to take you up to whatever it is, the, the lowest pressure that you're on. But yeah, that didn't make sense. So this is the uh, System 1 humidifier. On or off. I say leave it on because you can turn it off just on the machine. So this is the humidifier. Um, you can change it again with this dial, so it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. Auto on, it's when you put your machine, I'm sorry, your mask on and you breathe and the machine will turn on automatically. You can turn that on or off. Auto off is if you take your mask off, it'll detect a huge leak and it'll um, shut the machine off for you. So you can enable or disable those. Mask alert, if again, if the mask is too high, it'll, beep, it'll do a beep, 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 beep. And uh, just let you know that your mask is off and you need to wake up and fix it. This is a humidifier LED backlights. You can turn those on or off. Um, you can show your AHI and RDI, um, I'm sorry, just your AHI and leak on this uh, screen. So you don't have to like get into this all the time and look it up, it'll just kind of give you an overall view for the night. Um, split night, that's all for sleep study stuff, so don't worry about that. Hit it back, and that's it. You can also go into info and check out all this therapy hours, blower hours, all that stuff is in here as well. You can reset the data. With the exception of the hours, it'll reset all the AHI stuff. So uh, be smart about it as far as adjusting the pressure. I recommend doing it with the help of either your sleep lab or your DME or especially your doctor. Uh, but sometimes that's not a reasonable option or a viable option. So you have to take matters into your own hands. Uh, if you have any questions, again, my name is Jason. I have a forum, freecpapadvice.com forward slash forum. And you can uh, ask myself and users questions, and we can actually find that code out that would make this video much more helpful. So you can get a proper machine. And then uh, the data software is something you'd have to buy extra, and I think it's around 100 bucks or something. But um, again, if you're pretty wily on, on, online, you can find uh, some free versions of that data. Um, again, I can't remember where those, those would be found. That would, again, be way too helpful. So thanks. Thank you, thank you. Bye.